Alright guys and welcome to your 15th WordPress theme development tutorial. My name is Mehul and in this tutorial what I'm gonna do is create some options on the settings page so that we could actually interact with the database and the browser and with the user obviously. So before creating options what you need to do is actually create a section. So like if you go to journal then you'd see that it shows you like journal settings in one place and it kind of just have one sort of section right now so it's the journal section which contains all these settings but let's assume that you are working on a theme which cr contains a lot of you know settings you need to work on so you need to create sections out of it so that you can manage it properly so to do that what you need to do is actually inside or uh, let's just create another function let's just say this is theme uh, theme settings right there and uh, right here in this function what I'm gonna say is first of all add settings section and hit tab and it shows me the ID title callback and page let's give it an ID of let's just say this is um, theme index options a title would be like home page settings then a callback would be fired whenever this section is added so let's just say this is theme home page options and uh, for the page I'm gonna say that this would be official theme settings so that it works right here on the home page so okay so when we are done with the sections stuff you need to add a field and before that actually register a setting so what this register setting means is pretty much that you are kind of creating a input sort of field but actually registering it in WordPress so that WordPress knows that there's a input field in your code so the option group would be anything but you could you have to just make sure that you make use of that option group if you have fields in a particular group and this would become clear in a moment so let's just give option group a value of let's just say home page option or let's just make it option group and the next was uh, the callback I guess so no not the callback actually let me just see what the next was option group option name so okay this would be home page option group then the option name would be let's just say this is my black box and remember that this name right here would be the name which we, we are gonna make use in the input type text fields and then for sanitize callback I guess I could just leave it for now so we have this register setting and then what you need to do is add a field so I'm gonna say add a settings field and what it's gonna do is actually create a field for you based on this callback so this ID would be again something like um, black box text then this title would be uh, text hello slider and the callback would be black box callback let's just say the page is actually right here the official team settings the section as you can see we need this section now and this would be right this one uh, let's leave the arguments for now we don't need them 
okay so now we have added set settings field as well let's add this black box callback so I'm gonna say this is black box callback and I'm gonna say that echo out input type text name and make sure your name matches now this black box right there placeholder would be some text sort of for now and uh, I guess for the settings section we have this as the function name right so we could just create this one as well and uh, let's just say this is simply uh, customize home page settings and what this is okay so this is some sort of mystery function so let's just get rid of this for now uh, what's that really yeah looks like it is so anyways now once we are done with this if I go ahead and reload this you could see that pretty much nothing happens because we need to make some changes in our admin.php file as well uh, let's just quickly do that so I'm gonna say this is form action and uh, let's just leave it blank for now method post then inside here I'm gonna say that PHP settings fields now this is option group now this would allow you to echo out reasonable things like your input text fields and all that stuff without actually just writing all that stuff right here so it says to enter the option group so this would be not this one this one would be the option group and this would just echo out all the associated options settings associated with that and then you could do like php do settings sections so to as to echo out that section so it asks me for the page then i'm gonna say that this is official theme settings then actually we could just get rid of these then we need to add a submit button as well so this is submit button sort of so I guess all of the arguments for summit buttons are optional but you could just like say like uh, save to this and pretty much it would be good now reload and uh, pretty much we get only the summit button for now uh, let me just see but that is so so you're not getting the input field which we probably should so my register setting is home page option probe then black box then add settings section we have the theme index options right there then we have the home page settings we aren't even getting that theme options theme home page options Right, official theme settings, nothing wrong in that. And then an add settings fields, theme settings. Oh, poor me, we aren't even sort of doing anything to this. So, what we need to do in here is add add action admin in it, and don't forget that because admin in it would be fired whenever administrator area is done so right here here we go and if I reload this now you can see that pretty much I get some sort of information which just says home page settings which comes right here which is the section so you can think of this as a section then customize home page settings is the callback which I re received after this home page settings section was loaded then text below slider comes from right here the name of the field and then we have this input field and as you can see it's sort of css customized a little bit 
by WordPress itself. And that is pretty much how you can create this. And as you can see, if I save this, it isn't actually saving right now properly because we are missing like value and some sort of attribute right there. Well, we can add that, but I'm gonna leave that for the next tutorial. And if you like this, then don't forget to subscribe. And thank you for watching.